Today I just want to give you a quick uh, visual really for helping with your tee shots and creating a let's say a bigger flat spot down there at the bottom of the swing or certainly a much shallower angle of descent. So you can see on the ground we've got these three uh, driving range tees that are positioned roughly six to eight inches apart and what I want you to do is imagine the golf ball is positioned on the centre tee. What I want you to get the idea of is that coming through impact we literally want to have the golf club coming through brushing all three of the tees. Now brushing would mean just simply skimming the top of them. What we wouldn't want to do if we're coming in too steep would be here and really if they're wooden tees sort of snapping them in half. We want to get the idea that the club is traveling just level with the ground through this area of the swing. This is really going to help you keep like we said, a shallower angle of attack, maybe get you hitting slightly up on the golf ball. I think there's a visual, this is a great one. You can do this yourself. If you haven't got these rubber range tees, just get some normal size golf tees, just have them sticking out the ground, just a couple of inches, like we said, six to eight inches apart. And then just make some little swings like I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get the idea of the club literally passing over each of the tees in the same height. Um, if you're a player who maybe tops the ball a little bit, what you may find is your, your club's going to be quite high over the, the furthest left ball. If you sky the ball where you hit off the top of the club, then there's a good chance that the club will be too high over the, the, uh, the back tee peg there and coming in on too sharp a, of an angle. So just the visual of this and feeling how the club would pass literally the same distance off the ground through this area would really help you. And then of course, if you're actually hitting a shot, let's get rid of those for a second. And we set up to the ball as if it were sitting, you know, just inside that left heel. I want to have that same feeling that the club is still going to be that same distance above the ground through that area, almost where the club passes my right foot contact and then just passes after that left foot, keeping the club skimming its way along the ground. So try this, brush the three T's. This is really going to help.